Freed back on the training pitch today. How did that feel to be involved with the first team squad, building up to the all important playoff matches? Feeling good. Feeling good. Uh, I think last uh, last few days, a uh, few weeks, I need to to take off uh, off my knee. Uh, but now it feels good, and uh, hopefully we'll uh, I will be fine now and uh, try to build up for for the first game on on Wednesday because uh, it's a massive one. So how do you evaluate our chances going into the playoff matches? Well, when you start the game, I think uh, it's 50-50. Obviously, when you play uh, playoff games, uh, we have to go full of confidence, as uh, we did, I think, the, the whole season. Uh, we have nothing to fear uh, about. I think uh, we showed uh, plenty of times in the big games that we, we respond really well, I think. So we have to, to do the same, and, uh, and we will see after. But the main thing, I, see, I think, is to have uh, no regret. After suffering that Achilles injury at Alloa back in late August, how rewarding is it now to be back in the mix for these must-win matches at the business end of the season? This is this is why uh, I've signed for Hips at uh, the start uh, of, the, uh, of the season. I said uh, I want uh, I want you to get back uh, uh, to the Premier Premier Division, obviously, and uh, so now we have a, we have a good chance to to do it. So when I got injured, uh, I wanted to get ready and to get fit uh, for those games. And now they, they are about to start, so just to make sure we do everything right and to, to prepare really well and to go, uh, to go 100% for them. So you've played all over Europe, in France, in England and in Scotland. How beneficial do you feel this uh, training camp here in Le Manga has been for the squad overall? I think it's a good thing to go away, especially when you have a uh, lot of uh, days without a game. I think it's good to, to go away, to, um, to switch off a little bit from the on a daily basis, I would say, and uh, you come to a place like this, I think it's a privilege to, to, to be here uh, as a player and uh, it's just great because uh, we train in uh, amazing facilities, uh, accommodations are great, everything is just really nice, the weather help, help also to, uh, to do everything right, so it's just really good and uh, we have to, to enjoy it and to, to, to get ready uh, for Wednesday because we have to remember we're not on holidays here and big big games are coming, so we have to, to make sure we're ready. You say the highlight of your season so far was the goal in the Edinburgh derby against Hearts at Easter Road, and would a playoff goal surpass that, do you feel, if it helped us to achieve promotion back into the Premiership? Yeah, definitely. I think the goal was, was a good one, and uh, especially on that day, I think uh, the connection uh, we had with the fans, I think, was great. And uh, the good thing is we will have... We will need the, the, the supporters behind us for, for the playoff. So, so I think uh, uh, this type of games help also to, to create something with them. So, so it's all good now, uh, but we have done nothing yet. Uh, the hardest is about to come now. So, so as I said, uh, said, we are all excited and we're looking forward for, for Wednesday. Finally, Fareed, you've been sharing a room with your fellow striker, Jason Cummings. How would you sum up that experience overall? Well, I'm still alive. <laughs> it's a good thing. Now, now I wanted to, to take the chance uh, to, to speak about Jace. Uh, I think uh, I've heard a lot, a lot of things about him. I've read a lot of things about him. But I've seen him almost every day now uh, for, for a few months. And uh, I know how a good lad is. He's a really good guy. And uh, he's also a hard worker. We maybe don't say that straight away, but he's a really hard worker for the team and in training every day. Um, when I was injured, I remember one session I had to do with a fitness coach and uh, Jason was involved with me, on the him and me. It was on the day off, uh, no one else was in the training centre and he was, just, honestly, the run he's done was, uh, was amazing and he, well, he worked really, really hard. So that's, that's what people don't see about uh, Jason. So I wanted to, to say that about him. He's a really hard worker and a good guy and he's young. So that's... That's what he has to learn now. He has to to learn about don't don't do maybe stupid mistakes who can uh, can cost him some uh, some great moment for for his career. But first of all, he's a really good guy. How would you sum up your sort of forward partnership with Jason? Because he obviously seemed to do the trick against Hearts, didn't he? No, yeah. Uh, as I said, it's quite easy to play with Jace because uh, he's move, always on the move, always to try to find a, a space. Uh, when he got the ball, he looks to, to play with you, and uh, so he's always in a good position. Uh, when you see if he takes a goal uh, on a derby, I think it's a good example. Uh, if you find him, he was just on a great position uh, in between uh, the posts, and he just uh, scored. You see all his goals this season. He was always, always on a good position, and uh, and that's that's really good for strikers. Not not 
not so often you, you, you can see that. So I think he's, he's got that naturally in, in him uh, and he has to, to keep that because uh, he will score plenty of goals and uh, I hope, I hope uh, more on the playoff he will, uh, he will help us to, to get promoted.